Hey everyone, this video will be about post EIP 1559 mining earnings and why unfortunately they still might get a bit worse for us GPU miners after this week. Let's talk about why. As you all know, profits are down after the update. Every one of us feels it. To simplify it, miners still earn a little bit on ETH transaction fees even now, but most of it is burnt. If you remember right, there are different values now to keep in mind. A so-called miner tip and secondly the most the user is willing to pay. The so-called base fee, which is always burnt, depends on the network. You might ask now though, how do I set those? Say you are sending ETH transactions like you are used to and just set GUI and gas limit as always. These are called legacy transactions now and for example if you are using Metamask most of you still have legacy transactions. And this is the point I wanted to make. Most wallets that use legacy transactions are overpaying right now and newer transactions are a bit cheaper to do. That also means that as soon as most wallets are up to date, mining revenue might sink a bit further as there will be less tips for miners. This also means though that the burn numbers we see in ETH right now are overstated. Users are burning more as they would need to and at the same time many many bots are still broken. Metamask is rolling out the updated version to 1% of Chrome users as I'm making this this week with others to follow. On many mobile wallets I also still see legacy transactions but Metamask will be the biggest factor in this. This week we were still at around 90% of transactions being legacy. Again, this means different things, but most importantly that we cannot rely on any data or numbers yet, both in terms of how much minor revenue is impacted, on the other hand also on how much ETH really will get burned once things stabilize more. There are no certain outcomes yet, just some factors to keep in mind and I did not see many people talking about this, so I wanted to shoot a little update. It is what it is, we really have to see how it will play out in the coming weeks and months. I for one of course will keep mining. Then again I'm also trying to see it from the standpoint from a user as well as a miner and for now well also the user experience is not really improved except that we can watch if get burned. <laughs> Nothing really we can do about it except wait and see. I just wanted you to be aware of some of the new factors in play. I have been doing a lot of conference and interview coverage lately. I hope you like it and I thought it's time for a quick mining update even though it's not necessarily a positive one. I hope all of you are doing well. I can say that I have been busy. Still a lot of talks and interviews coming which of course does not mean I'm neglecting the hardware. Things are planned on all ends. Let me know what steps you have been taking in your mining operation or if you kept everything running as it is. All the best to each and every one of you. Please subscribe for weekly tech and crypto content. Happy mining and bye.